Hi, and welcome. I'm the Reverend Dr. Cheryl Gaver, Presbyterian Minister of Three Congregations in Eastern Ontario, and I'm also the questioning pastor. Last time I asked, did human beings invent gods? And the answer was, we don't really know. Today's question is, did human beings invent religion? And the answer there is quite simple, yes, okay doesn't really matter what religion you follow. Human beings have been involved in the creation of that religion. So if gods don't exist, you invented gods, then you invented a structure to support those gods, worship, scriptures, all that stuff. It's easy to see. But if gods do exist, how then can you say human beings invented religion? That's a lot harder. Well, let's just take Christianity. We believe God interacted with us, okay? And God has revealed certain things to us. We've written them down. And we have taught them to other people. So this would be like the 613 commandments, um, stories of Jesus, things like that, Paul's letters, uh, different visions. A lot of that is human interaction with God and writing down what we believe uh, or what we understand from those experiences of God. But let's say, okay, it's God's word and it's exactly the way it should be. We haven't twisted anything around. We got everything right. Okay, uh, Christians don't exactly say that, uh, most Christians, but uh, we do recognize that there's a human element in the Bible, especially in the Psalms, our responses to God. But we have interpreted the Bible so let's say it's God's word, it's infallible, but we are reading it and we are not God. We are very fallible and we can interpret it in different ways. And so you have some Christians interpreting it this way and others interpreting it that way. Who's right? Which one is, is, does God want? So one way, one issue that we can look at is how is the church organized? And we talk about, well, the Bible shows us there's elders and deacons, and you have the missionaries. So we've got sort of the clergy who are doing the teaching and the elders who are looking at the life of the congregation, all that kind of stuff. Okay, we now have it set up how the church is organized. But how does that power work? Is it sort of top down or it's God to the missionary or the priest who then communicates to the people who then follow what or is it sort of we are all priests priesthood of all believers and God is revealing ourselves and we interact and sort of it feeds back up or is there a mixture between the two so are the Catholics right in how they've organized with the Pope on down or the Baptist, right, where each congregation is sort of separate. Do you happen to have like bishops overseeing several congregations? So we all go back to the Bible, but we're interpreting it in different ways. So is that a human element? When do we hold uh, worship services? We know that God wants us to sort of come together and worship him. Or does he? Hmm. Some churches don't really have worship services. Maybe they come together to study God's word. But sometimes they do. And then we go, well, when do we celebrate Christmas? Or when is it going to be on Saturday or Sunday for our service? Some of those are human deductions based on the Bible. How the church is organized? What are the church's priorities? Um, 
do we do our services this way or that way? What elements, how do we organize our worship service? How do we organize what we do? How much do we do outreach mission work to other countries or mission work into inner cities or looking after our own congregations or pastoral side? All of this stuff, it's not there in the Bible. It's not clear from God. And so we pray, we discuss, we figure it out, and we do the best we can. We might get it right and we might get it wrong. But there is that human element. How we organize, how we run things, how we interpret the Bible. There's all that kind of human element coming in that leads to what we call the religion of Christianity. The original inspiration, the Bible. Nope, God breaking into time and space. God coming to us as Jesus. God coming to us as the Holy Spirit, filling our lives, giving us this book to read, the Bible. But it's not in English. It's in Hebrew, Greek, and we don't bother to learn those languages. Many, of, most of us don't bother to learn those languages. So do we really understand what the original is saying? Are we interpreting based on translations? Are we adding? Are we subtracting? Are we ignoring? I think we all have favorite parts of the Bible. And we all have parts of the Bible that we skip over. How do we know? which is most important. Somewhere there's a human element and it builds, expands and develops into a, a religion. This is how we do things. This is how we celebrate. This is what we do on certain days. We work from the Bible. We work from God, original inspiration but we've added something uh, human from ourselves. And that combination is what leads to a religion being created. So yeah, we've invented some religion. We've taken God's original revelation and worked with it to make ourselves understand it. So yeah, in that way, we have created religion. It doesn't deny there is a core that's from God. So that's it for today. Once again, I'm the Reverend Dr. Cheryl Gaver, the questioning pastor. Thank you for joining us today. Take care. God bless and see you next time.